Okay, part two, antique mall. This whole auto stop thing has to stop. Or has to not stop. The phone never did this before. This is new that my phone does it. So I was talking about knowledgeable dealers as opposed to myself. Ooh, that, that Mexican vase is only nine dollars. Oh, it's pretty. Well, only nine dollars. I don't know how much it's actually worth. I cannot tell the signature. But I can probably make a little bit off of it. So I was distracted with my phone turning off on me again. This is really getting old. These are cool. Seven dollars. All? Each one of them is seven dollars, even a small one. They should have different prices. I do like these, but not the price. Huh. Of course they have the whole all the notices that these dealers will discount, but I would like to know ahead of time how much they would they would discount for. Well by the time I get to the register with all the stuff and then I still don't like the prices, then what do I do? Then I'm a fool telling him, oh no, I'm not gonna take this after all. You can take it back to where it came where I found it. <laughs> Of course they will, it's what they do, but I feel kind of rude doing that. Oh, now we're talking. That's cool. No, I need Jamie to help me out, because I've never seen this, this brand before. I don't know if that's worth the money I would be spending on that set. Contemporary, not old. $9.99. But it's purple. I have so many purple pieces. I have to stop buying purple. Unfortunately. So let's do it a little bit quicker now. And just look through the through the aisles. Oh. Huh. That matches something I have. It's not a vase, I have plates of this. Ooh, that kitty. That kitty is cool. I like that clock too. So I was distracted earlier when my phone played games with me again. My point really was that I'm sure you guys... Ooh, look at that, an East German cap. 36 bucks though. Of course, they don't make them anymore. Let's see what the size is. Made in East Germany. Well, yeah, that's kind of... Uh, I don't see the, the size on there. I do like their... I do like their um, uniform colors with that stripe on. That looks kind of cool. Because it also represents oppression and... Uh, no human rights and all that good stuff or all that bad stuff actually that's one of those again where this whole love-hate relationship with uniforms comes in I love the design I love the look and I hate what it stands for <laughs> Gosh, those bookends are totally cool $24 for the set I guess it better be for the set. Still too much money. So yeah, listening to my videos, you get my, you ultimately get. Oh, I had that one. I had that same one. It broke. Someone broke it. Probably me. But. Yeah, watching my videos, you get a pretty good idea of who I am, my whole life story. Oh, look at that! There's that same one I picked up a couple weeks ago, and this one has the lid that mine is missing. Ten dollars. Of course, mine was like three dollars and change without the lid. 
I don't think I want to spend 10 bucks on the lid because I'm not sure I can actually sell it without the lid. I can try, but <laughs> uh, I'll think about it. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty. Yeah, back to my life story. What was I talking about? Well, I was born and then I grew up and now, um, yeah, I'm boring people on YouTube. <laughs> And stay away from the other people. I don't want anyone to feel like I'm. Will make make them feel uncomfortable with the camera running. They may not even realize I'm filming. That's why I'm using the phone when I'm out because it's less conspicuous than the actual camera. Camera. And I don't always ask. Sometimes I ask, sometimes I don't. I remember Harry Tornado when he was saying that he asked a friend if he could film in a certain location. The friend was uh, working at that location. One oh, about thirty-eight dollars and fifty cents, though. And his friend told him, don't even ask, because I have to tell if you ask, I have to tell you no, but if you don't ask, I'm, I'm not going to tell you to stop. So, I keep thinking about that whenever I do ask people, but so far I've been lucky every time I asked, I was told it's okay. Especially when, when they find out that they can get some free advertisement out of it. Of course, I don't have a big following. Ooh, look at that. This reminds me of the one I had when I was a teenager. And that disappeared as soon as I moved out of my mom's house. And we did not have any um, resale stores in those days. It's only 95 bucks, that's a good deal though. Hmm. So since I know we didn't we didn't have resale stores, I'm pretty sure my mom just tossed it. The only thing I'm hoping is that maybe the trash got, trash people who picked up the trash that day were collectors. salt and pepper shakers though. Uh, so yeah, everything that I had when I was a kid or teenager disappeared the moment I moved out of my, my mom's house into my own apartment because I left all my stuff behind initially because it was my room after all. I didn't think she was just gonna get rid of everything without asking me all these ship models that I had built. I had built a lot of ship models when I was when I was back in those days. Because there was not much else to do. And I loved ships. I still do. They're all gone. And I don't think that brand even exists anymore. Huh. Florida. Salt and pepper. So Yeah, if you would like a lesson or to learn something about antiques or about any totally cool items that may or may not be for sale somewhere, then unfortunately you will not be very happy with my channel. And of course if you are interested in Tiger's Life Story, which who wouldn't be interested in Tiger's Life Story? Those pugs, all the Chinese pugs, 
Hmm. I don't know if they're Chinese, if they're pugs or bulldogs. Oh, well, I'll just leave them because I'm not sure. And I, hmm, didn't I just pick up one of those? I think that's the one that I was I had in my auction lot. I actually had another one of those, but I think I, I don't know if I still have that. In a weak moment, I took some of the stuff back to Gucciville along with my mom's Murano ashtray. But that was before I found out Murano was a thing. You know, it was a purple ashtray, which is why I hung on to it for 20 years. But at the same time, it was an ashtray. Ooh, I used to have that back in the 80s when these came out. I had that very, <laughs> very same decanter. <laughs> I was back in Berlin. I was hanging out with the, with the soldiers from the U.S. Army. Uh, where I was able to watch the movies. They helped me get into the theater and all that good stuff. And helped me out with the way like this. Well, except the Mr. and Mrs. Kitties are cute though. So. <laughs> uh oh. I really need to. Hi. Selfie. <laughs> Video selfie. I really need to. Another Temptations piece. I really need to get back to my my weight loss program of some sort try to sign up for that noom thing but i don't have the <laughs> there's larry i just don't have the um 289 those controllers are cheap nowadays no one of mine didn't sell but yeah there's another one for that's cheaper than the more expensive than the big one <sighs> I really need to get mine going. Wow. Wow. That is a nice, nice coffee pot. I do like this. I do like the style. Not too much the price though. Which I'm sure it's worth it. But I do not know details about how old it is. I would have to do some research before I spend the money. And today I'm pretty sure I don't have the patience to do some research. 3650 and these boxes are also expensive which makes me kind of happy with the ammo box I just picked up at that estate auction even though it's not a coca-cola it's just an ammo box but it has a lid it's a really nice one $18 Ooh. very very light pretty though except for the color <laughs> oh and there's more kitties I can open my own kitty store by now. I have so many kitties. Since I can't say no when I see a cute kitty. So I can pepper shakers. <laughs> there are those Danish plates. Thanks. That's what I got in my fridge right now. Other than the Budweiser. That's my mm. the original Budweiser from Budvar. No, oh, actually the Pilsen are from Pilsen. That's my preferred one. Excuse Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, not too bad. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. Not a man. So yeah, that... Bex is my other favorite beer. That Belgian beer that they're selling at Aldi. I don't know, pretense it's German, you know it's brewed 
according to the German recipes. I don't. Those are totally cool. I like those coffee carafes. I have some of them, but they're hidden away somewhere. And that's why. I don't know. Ooh, poodle, poodle, poodle. Poodle alert. What does it say on there? Eight bucks. <laughs> Mm. Mm. That's worth eight bucks. I don't believe I can sell it for much more than eight bucks, maybe ten. Which would still be profit though. But I don't have a resell. Uh, the tax exempt paperwork. Still working on all that. Hmm. So I still have to pay tax as well, I have to pay sales tax on it. Hmm. That's where Goodwill comes in handy. I don't charge sales tax and they, the prices are still a little bit better for the most part. Even though the prices lately have been absolutely crazy. Hmm. Sure that looks like, I don't know if it's ironwood, kind of looks like it, but... Oh, well, there's the Arizona salt and pepper and the Christmas salt and pepper. Yeah. Similar. It disappeared. I think it broke eventually. Are you coming, David? Yes. Hmm. Circle of friends. I had one similar to this. I think I just took it to Gucci all this week. I've had forever, haven't been able to sell it. Of course you gotta sell it locally because it's kind of big and heavy to ship. Nice. Well, gang. I'm going to. Ooh, this looks very mid century modern. I really like this, but do I like the price? Hmm, $11 is not too bad. Oh, I don't need it. I have purple stuff to put in my kitchen. <laughs> How much more there is to come. Honestly, I cannot keep this up much longer because I know I'm gonna be boring the bejesus out of y'all. So I'm probably going to just look around for a little bit without filming. And if I see anything that needs to be filmed, I can always break out the phone again. Or just do a haul video later. So, plus we have the music playing. I don't know if we get in trouble. With that. Well, that's kind of... Got you all seasick shaking the phone while I was doing a little happy dance. Mm -hmm. Mark. 
and drunk. That's cool. That's the book for me. How to hunt for a tiger. Question is how old is this book? <laughs> and how accurate are the prices still? And more kitties. And more poodles. You know, I'm at the point where kitties and poodles are getting kind of old. I want to see something different. Maybe a nice rat would be cool. And more German styles. This is a nice scent. Don't see a price. There's a price. I wonder if that's for the whole set. China, US, $60, 32 pieces. That's actually not bad. But if I break them up and sell them in smaller sets. Hmm. All these trunk up elephants, where are the trunk down elephants? Hmm. None to be found. There's more kitties. <laughs> close it here. Seen everything? Well, no, we've not seen nearly everything. But we've seen... Oops, I'm on your way. Let me go ahead and move my... <laughs> Sorry about that. We have seen... See, I got a whole collection of these soup terrains. And none of them have sold. Which really bites because I really would like to would like to sell those and not take them back to Gucciville. There's a nice 1776 now. See if I could sell those that I saw today for $17, $18, then it would almost be worth paying the $8 and change for it. Since the nine 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 fifty comes with a twenty percent discount, well seven dollars and change, but still, I'm not sure they are. Whoops. Well, this piece I really like, even though it's kind of a kitty again and it's green. It's not my color. And yeah, it's a vase, and it's made in China. Not oh, too bad. Salt and peppers, yeah, those salt and pepper shakers are really cool too. Anywho, gang, we'll leave it at that for now. Show you a pretty good selection of what there is at this mall, at this antique mall. And you all, you all know the deal. Y'all keep it real. Boom. <laughs>